So in this video, we're going to go over how to do a door slash window schedule. Uh, in this case, we're actually just going to do windows because the doors work the same way. So here we have just a bunch of different windows on this building. So in order to do so, you have to go up to the view tab up here at the top. And in roughly the middle, we have schedules. If we click on here, it's going to bring up a drop down. Uh, we just want to select the first one, schedule quantities. And then click cancel. So from here, when you select that, it's going to give you a bunch of options of different categories that you can make a schedule for. In this case, we're just going to go all the way to the bottom, click Windows, and then click OK. And then the next thing you'll see is in this window, um, Windows should be selected here. We have a bunch of different options as far as features in regards to Windows that we can place in the schedule. So basically, it's going to make a big table showing all the information. So in this case, let's say I want to have the count, so the number of the windows. So once you select something you want, you just click on this little green arrow, and it will put it over here. Yeah, uh, let's say. Students, if you have lost a car key, please report to the assistant principal's office. Again, if you have lost a car key, please report to the AP's office. So let's say we want to use count. So I'm going to click on. Oh wait. So let's say I want to use count, so I'm just going to select count and then click on this green button to move it over. Uh, maybe let's see here, let's choose family, scroll down, I want to know the level in which the window is on. And let's do width and then let's choose description for right now. So once you select what you want to know, over here when it creates a table, the first column is going to be the first item in this box. So the second item in the box is going to be the second column in the table. So in this case, let's say if you want the first thing to be shown is level, all you have to do is select level and then here we have these two button buttons. Um, the up arrow will move it uh, to the up position and then down we will just move it down through the table. So I want level to be number one. Um, counts, let's see here, I'm going to make that the last thing. Um, family will be number two, description will be number three, width, and let's add in height here real quick. Perfect. So that's good. I like what I see. So when you click OK, it's going to bring up a table. So one, again, level is being shown first, so at level one, level two, the family that it's a part of, description, we can see it doesn't have any information, width, height, and then count. Um, in this case, because description doesn't have anything, what we can do is over here in our properties where it says fields and edit, we can click on edit, go back to our box here, choose description, and then click on the red arrow to remove it since there's no true reason for having it, since there's no data being provided. So click OK, and now we can see that that was removed. So one thing also that we do need to know, especially for a certification test, is here for sorting and grouping. So if we go to edit, um, right here you can sort by a specific item basically. So for example if we click on here sort by, we can sort by level, family, width, or height. So first off, right now it's already sorted by level just by default. But let's say I wanted to sort by family, so if I choose family and then uh, basically you can choose ascending, descending, and like header, footer, but you really don't need those. But in this case, if you choose blank line, what will happen is it's going to place a gray line in between each one. So basically it filtered it so that way alphabetically A's are appearing first, so the arch top, then casement, double, and then fixed. If we go back to our sorting and grouping, let's say if I first wanted to sort it by level, so first is going to show all the level ones, then level twos. Then you can sort by family, so then it'll go alphabetically, and then maybe sort by the height. And then in this case, I'm going to add a blank line for each one of those. Click OK, and we end up with a couple more sections. So we're just basically breaking it down into finer detail. So this is, for example, all the windows here that have two foot, level one, level one, level one. Once we hit here, level two. 
Okay, so that's one way that the filtering works as far as basically cutting it down into certain things that you're looking for. And then the last thing in regards to the sorting slash grouping is down here at the bottom you can do grand totals. So you might run into a situation where you want to know how many total windows you have in the entire file. In this case if you just click on grand totals and then click OK it will tell you down here at the bottom how many total windows you have in the file. Um, if you want to change this, if we like look here, we can see we have a bunch of windows that are the same. So our table is pretty long. We can fix that by just unchecking this box here at the bottom. So it says itemize every instance. Just click on here and what will end up happening is each section will be broken down into just one line. And now instead of saying one count, one count, one count, one count, we have it saying that we have four of this specific window, five of this specific window. Um, and basically that's just how a schedule works. You choose the information you want, so whether it be doors, windows, you choose a different type of categories that you want displayed in your table, so level, family, width, height, whatever it may be, and then you can go around and play with specifically and exactly how that information is laid out.